I'm Martina, the artist behind Martina's Fine Art. In this video I'll show you an easy way of making your initial line drawing using a grid. And I'll demonstrate the colouring of a cat's eye on drafting film. I've accelerated the video to prevent you from falling asleep while watching, but if you try this one yourself, make sure you'll take enough time. What do you need for making the drawing? Of course you will need a piece of drafting film and a second piece of transparent paper. This can be tracing paper, but another piece of film will do also. You will need a print of the photo. The refer reference photo is from pmpart.com. I'll put a link in the video description. My husband has printed a couple of grids on transparent overhead sheets, and it's a very nice tool to use. I'll use two of them. I put the reference photo beneath the first grid and tape it together on my drawing board. I just use an HB and a couple of erasers. Then I tape a piece of tracing paper on top of the other grid. And then I can start, start drawing in the lines. Sometimes you'll have to count where to start. Make sure you watch very good. Where do lines cross? And what lines are necessary? Some people need just a few lines and some need some more. Do what fits you. But make sure you have enough and not too much, because this can overwhelm you and can be confusing. In this case I wanted to get the outline right, the position of the pupil and the outline of the dark part surrounding the eye. This will be the line drawing of the eye. Remove the grid sheet, tape the drafting film on top of the tracing paper with the line drawing and you're almost ready to start the fun part. And oh yes, put a white sheet or rather a couple of them or a magazine or something beneath your work cause you don't want to see the structure of the surface in the drawing. I've used a white color to get in a base layer first. This will give you much more control. I explained this in the former video, which was a bit of technical, but with useful information. Then I color in all those beautiful colors of the cat's eye, carefully applying layers of color. And if you're coloring with me, make sure you watch your reference photo long enough. When it comes to drawing or painting in a realistic style, you have to watch at your reference photo all the time. Watching time will at least equal coloring time. When you color the pupil, start with a dark color beneath the black. In this case blue made sense to me, because the pupil has a kind of bluish shine and you can also see bluish parts in the pupil. If you just use straight black, this will look boring and flat. And that's the same with the black part surrounding the eye. There I added a blue, a brown and a black.
then slowly build up the details and values you need. If the eye looks too flat on the end, you can also put in some extra shadow on the edges to give the suggestion of a rounded eye.
So, and when that's finished, you can start with the fur. In many earlier videos, you can see me coloring fur on drafting film. So have fun! I think this video is the last one about drafting film for the time being. I want to show you other methods first, like working on new art. But if you have questions or suggestions, I can always change my mind. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And if you drew an eye yourself, well maybe you can show me by tagging me on Facebook or so. Happy coloring and have a nice day!